For this level design case study, I decided to take a look at one of StarCraft II's missions that focus on guiding a single hero unit, Nova, to success. It should be noted that the gameplay recorded with this video was done so in the hardest difficulty available, Brutal, and that other difficulties might reduce the unit count and possibly alter the experience or analysis. Prior to the gameplay and in-game cutscene is a cinematic spanning somewhere around two and a half minutes. Nova here. I'm on an encrypted connection, and I need retrieval now. I can't remember what happened. Nova? I think they wiped your memories. We're being held prisoner in a shielded facility. We'll have to escape to contact the Dominion. Weren't we on a mission? What happened? A whole lot of bad luck. But we'll figure it out. Once control is handed over to the player, Nova is instructed to acquire a weapon. The rogue agent is nearby. An on-screen indicator and blinking ability button will attempt to convey that the player is able to instantly take down enemies within melee range. Green cones will indicate the lines of sight of enemies capable of detecting cloaked units. As this is all introduced at the start of the level, players can make whatever mistakes are crucial to learning these mechanics early, while being able to save and load without restriction. While there aren't necessarily markers or guidance visually built into the map itself, the mini-map does have a marker to show where the objective is. But the map is not fully revealed to begin with, so there is a minor amount of finding one's way to the player's goal. Even though the path is not immediately visible to the player, the structure of the level is predominantly linear. Executing. Stay sharp. This agent is extremely dangerous. En route. On the move. Get out there and find her! Upon finding a rifle, Nova is further instructed to find more equipment. All right, I've got a rifle. Nice, but you'll need more than that. Head to the research bay next. The melee got takedown it. ability is replaced with a long-ranged option that fulfills the same need, allowing the player to eliminate detectors from outside of their range. You always were a great shot. Thank you. Rogue agents on to us. Move, move, move. Understood. She's gone! Get out of here! I can do this. En route. Running into some heavy resistance here. Just avoid him for now. After passing by a group too dense to reasonably pick apart with just a rifle in a short amount of time, a pulse grenade can be found, which grants Nova a reusable area damage skill. Having just seen the crowd of enemies outside, the player will likely immediately figure to try their newfound power on the group. Worked like a charm. Pierce and Delta are being held here too. It's not going to be easy to reach all of us. We're a team. We're getting out together. Moving forward, the player will encounter more groups of enemies, and the level will begin to self-destruct, preventing the player from backtracking. The map will then be marked with the locations of Nova's comrades, and the player will be able to follow these markers to save the comrades as an optional objective. At this point, the level introduces a new obstacle, flame turrets. The player will need to either more methodically control their movement, or take rapidly accumulating damage. An observant player will find that they can also potentially lure enemies into the fire to deal damage if they find themselves low on energy. With that said, it could be argued that there is a conflict in player impetus influence at this portion. With one of Nova's comrades insisting that she needs to hurry and the facility detonating, the player would surely feel pressured to pick up the pace. In contrast, the crowds of enemies in addition to the flame turrets that are capable of revealing cloaked units would discourage the player from moving too quickly. This can lead to reckless decision-making by the part of the player, and whether this is intended or not, I cannot be certain, as it seems to be that the explosions keep pace with the player without ever actually exceeding or catching them. Similarly, Nova's comrades will only be attacked when she has entered a trigger area. Our last mission went wrong. I think we were captured. Follow me. While guidance earlier in the level was mostly provided by a waypoint and not so much in the environment, Understood. but by the detection codes of enemies that would control the player's movement, by this point, right. the player can discern the correct path not only by use of the waypoint, but by invalidating any path that has been set ablaze.
By this point, all elements of this portion of the level have been introduced, and the player is left to reinforce and exercise their newfound understanding. This isn't going to be easy. This could get messy. Healed up. En route. Understood. Executing. Heading out. Whatever it takes. Got it. En route. God, you made it. Let's go. Upon reaching the end of the facility, Nova and any rescued crew will evacuate the facility using vulture bikes found at the exit. This will begin an auto-scrolling vehicle section. We're in Sharpsburg. We can contact the Dominion forces in this city. We should get off world first. No way of knowing who's a spy here. There are shuttles up ahead. The fastest way to them would be with these vultures. Our chances are better if we split up. Pierce and I will go separately. Good luck out there. All right, we better get going, Stone. Civilian vehicles will need to be evaded or Nova will take damage. Enemies will also spawn, starting from the front, then the back, and finally from above. After three minutes on the road, a boss will spawn. This fight takes about two minutes and revolves around keeping Nova out of the way of telegraphed attacks. More aerial units will occasionally spawn in to harass the player, which rewards cautiously keeping just a bit of energy in reserve to snipe them out of the air. Once the boss is defeated, Nova will commandeer a flying transport and exit the level. These are the shuttles. Once I'm out of here, I'm going to need some answers. 